Hello opportunists and losers alike. Today we're going to be discussing luck and good luck and bad luck and uh, per chance encounters. Now, what is luck? Generally, luck is that, I don't know, that era of randomness in which certain outcomes occur. They seem like they're happening by random and they either benefit you and they're fortunate or the opposite, they're unfortunate you know, encounters that just happen to people. And people attribute it to luck because they fail to see the deeper order and the deeper patterns leading up to these outcomes. But really, what is luck? Well, a few weeks back, I forgot the source, but I found a line somewhere that I liked, and it went like this. Luck is where preparation meets opportunity. Where preparation meets opportunity. And the basic idea is that if you're prepared for something, if you know what you're looking for, and you're acquiring everything you need, and you're getting yourself psyched for it and ready for it, eventually, you know, there will be a door of opportunity opening and you will find it, you will see it opening because you're actively seeking it, because you're actually aware of what's going on instead of just passively waiting for everything to fall into your lap. So when that door opens, you will go through it and because you were prepared, you will be able to capitalize on that opportunity. And then you say, oh, how lucky I was, you know, how lucky I was to meet the right person at the right time or to have this thing that I've been needing and wanting fall into my lap. Maybe it wasn't really a chance of luck and randomness as much as it was simply the fact that, you know, we exist in a realm where doors of opportunities and possibilities are constantly opening around us. And what really separates the cream from the crop and what really causes those certain few to rise to the top is I think that the difference is those few are more aware and they're more prepared. They're more prepared in their minds and physically just ready to pursue opportunities when they arise and often it's a simple case of awareness if you're just sitting by idly like I said waiting for things to fall in your lap and good luck just does just happen to you nothing's gonna happen I mean doors of opportunity will be opening around you all the time and you're just gonna miss them because you weren't even looking in the first place and then you'll be one of those people that say oh what bad luck I have I don't have such good luck like that guy does no it's just your eyes aren't open enough and you're not engaging enough Maybe you're not in the right spaces. That's the other thing with luck. There are certain spaces you can go to increase your chances and optimize your chances of having those chance encounters, of finding those certain doors that you need opening up. Whereas there are certain company you can keep, certain places you can be, which, you know, there's a really little chance of the things you're really wanting, you know, happening. So that's the basic idea in it. Uh, so don't blame things on luck, don't blame things on randomness, realize everything that happens is a result of your choices and of your simple awareness, being aware of what's happening, being prepared for it all, and choosing each door accordingly. Keep your eyes peeled people, opportunities are everywhere. Ooh, one last thing, in addition to everything I was just saying. Here's a handy little tool I came up with years ago. Stick this in the desktop of your mind. All right, imagine there's a graph, lines going vertically and horizontally. The lines going hor horizontally, imagine an AP, which stands for your attention on the present, right? And everything I was just talking about, you know, all the doorways opening. And then imagine an IF, an IF on the vertical lines, that stands for your intention on the future, right? Goals you have set. Where these lines coincide, you know, where your attention on the present coincides with your intention on the future, you will find coincidences. And just keep that in mind. Just stick that little graph, graph with an AP, maybe that stands for applying yourself in the present. And then you've got the IF, which is your intention on the future, if all the possibilities, right? Keep that little graph in the corner of your mind at all times. Always be aware and always have your intention in mind. And that is all. Thanks.